It's very important to aim for progress or at least strive to achieve some sort of progress in any aspect of life. That could be, once again, we're going with health, we're going with maybe your work, even some sort of you know side projects that you have, whether that be sort of artsy, you know, creative sort of ones, and becoming more accomplished within that niche that we're talking about. The reason why progress is so important is because if you're waking up every day, let's give a short time frame of seven days a week, and you haven't made any progress in any part of your life, you've just stagnated, right? So you've woken up, you've done nothing all day, and by nothing I literally just mean maybe even laying in bed, just doing nothing, maybe eating obviously, just the general stuff and going to sleep for a whole week. How would that make you feel mentally? How would your brain react to what your your body's doing, right? It'll be a negative experience for all. We saw with the last year how lockdowns affected all of us mentally. And I think the example I gave of seven days is only a small snippet of what people actually went through. You know, the severity of being kept in houses for weeks on end is a lot more demanding mentally than people thought at first and you could just relate it back to also jail you know that's what you know pretty much people in jail have they have a cell they have a communal area and they have it outside that's it right let's say a generic cell this was very similar in the fact that some people didn't even have gardens you know some people just stuck inside for a very long time obviously you could go to the shops now and then but it was very heavily influenced to stay inside and so we saw people not getting or making any progress because they f were literally forced and couldn't make any progress in things that they usually were. And so this played a massive effect on people feeling negative, feeling like they're useless and feeling lost, right? If we revert back to the point of making sure we're achieving that little bit of progress within that week. So let's say, you know, day one, we uh, smashed out some work, whether whatever that may be in the niche, um, you know, did some exercise felt productive, body got moving, mind was active, how are you going to feel? You're going to feel good. You're going to feel like you deserve a reward. You're rewarding yourself for achieving something within that day, right? But then let's say Tuesday, you don't do as much. Maybe you feel guilty. That's completely dependent on the person. But let's say the rest of the week, you smash out even more work Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. How are you feeling? You're feeling amazing. You're feeling on top of the world. You're feeling productive. You're feeling energetic. You feel like you could take on anything else because of the momentum from first day then the second day and the third day. So you have that momentum building. And once you keep that momentum going, you just feel, like I said, on top of the world. This is why I think it's so vital to have some sort of aim in a niche, whether that's making any type of progress. And like I said before, progress does not mean, you know, 1%. It could literally mean 0.01%. As long as you feel like and you have achieved something in this day today i think it's key to get into our heads and other people's heads that if we are sad like i said before in the last video ask yourself why maybe it is linked to doing nothing maybe because you're not doing as much as you want to you're feeling guilty you're feeling like you have no purpose and you know these are the negative effects of feeling like that and so one another step that you could take is aiming for progress in any niche you want and as long as you're improving in some aspect, like I said, it could be creative as well. People play instruments, learn languages. Your mind's keeping active and this is what's creating these endorphins inside your head, right? However, on the other hand, there is two sides to every coin and there is a negative of, you know, aiming for progress. You know, you may ask why? Good question. Uh, the, the reason why this is negative is obviously if you don't find a balance, you could become, well, I think it's labelled as a workaholic. You could just only want to you know progress 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 and forget about the rest of the life you know there is more to life than just progressing this is why it's important to make sure you have a balance because let's say you take a holiday for seven days you want to unwind and relax because you've just been aiming for progress the last 40 50 weeks straight you need a you know a detox or relax on the mind and the body that's that's completely different than you know having a lazy like a very lazy week and achieving absolutely nothing because even on holidays people tend to still do a bit of exercise but it's socializing they're still achieving some sort of progress with other people it's just on a minor scale compared to the majority of their life right make sure when you're aiming for progress you do find that balance towards the end you know at the start you could argue when you're starting a new niche you're 
so excited and, and, and encapsulated by the new feeling, the honeymoon phase of most things, as they say, go for it, smash it out. You know, let's say I'm learning piano tomorrow and I want to spend eight hours playing piano or learning piano. That's cool. But consistently keeping that up is not only near impossible, but also very unhealthy in the long run. Because there is, like I said, there is a balance to life. And so if you don't find that balance throughout life, you'll struggle in many aspects. So make sure you are aiming for progress in any niche you want. If you are feeling a little bit little bit down, a little bit sad, think to yourself, am I aiming for anything at the moment? Have I got any little goals? Doesn't have to be a big goal, could be a little goal, a daily goal, an hourly goal. It could just be some sort of goal to get you out of the, you know, the rut of, of life and making sure you use that momentum from that day or even the last hour to go to the next goal and the next goal and it just using that momentum keeps you going and this is what creates consistency i just wanted to leave you with the last quote which is sort of summarizes what i've been saying and it's slow progress is better than no progress